Okay, so we're taking the mass of the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, uh, record that um, mass, and tear the scale. So I'm gonna hit the tear button. Notice that changes it to zero. Okay, now I'm going to add 35 milliliters of water, or thereabouts. The exact amount is not super significant. So this is pretty close to 35. Um, so the water is 33.19 grams of water. So write that down, 33.19 grams of water. Now I'm gonna take a 100 milliliter beaker. Record the mass and tear the scale. So that means I have to tear it first here. Record the mass, tear the scale, 54.50. That's the 100 milliliter beaker. I'm gonna tear it. I'm gonna measure out uh, two grams of salt. I used a different salt instead of uh, NaCl, but the idea is not that it's still the same. <laughs> now let's just use that amount, 3.41 grams. Perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, mix the salt with the water and stir gently. Okay. So stir gently. So the total mass of the salt and the water should be what we see here. And the question is, as I mix these things, will the mass change? Will it go up or down? Okay, so 36.16 is your total mass there. Um, use information gathered to answer um, the information, okay? Next question, uh, or next lab is, does have, uh, or gas have mass? So I have this bottle, a lid, and a, two Alka-Seltzer tablets right here. And, oops, sorry, I gotta take these off. So all that is 20.36. Oh, I have to have a, um, a little bit of water in here. So the water's right there. So we have a total mass of 146.80. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is break up my Alka-Seltzer tablets. sit here So we're gonna wait till it's fully dissolved here. Mass after one minute here. The mass has changed maybe a little bit. I'm gonna open it. Let's look at the mass now. So now it says 146.43. Looks like it's going down a little bit more. So a little bit longer here. And from that, you should be able to uh, get all of your information from the lab, okay? As the mass continues to drop here.